Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be showing you how to diagnose a faulty harmonic balancer on a BMW M57 engine. This particular vehicle I'm working with here today is a 2010 BMW 335D. This engine was also found on other models such as the X5 and 5 series of the same generation. I'm at about 170,000 kilometers or 105,000 miles on the original harmonic balancer. How long these last will depend on the vehicle, both the age, heat, and usage affects its lifespan. Mine hasn't failed yet, but it's most likely due for a replacement. The replacement ahead of time is a great preventative maintenance step and will keep your vehicle reliable. It can be extremely hard to gain access to the harmonic balancer with everything in place, so I would highly recommend using a boroscope for such an inspection. For this, I'm using my Teslong NTS 700 inspection camera. It has a triple lens to maximize the viewing angles, 7 inch screen, is waterproof and has 16.5 feet of reach. A link to this will be included in the video description as well as a coupon code for their website. As a visual inspection we are looking for any cracking or separation in the rubber damper between the center bolt up portion and the outer pulley. The cracking on mine is very mild however you can find extreme cases online. Beyond the cracking stage the rubber can eventually separate from the steel not allowing the pulley to properly rotate. This will prevent any belt accessories from working not allowing you to drive your vehicle. The AC, power steering, alternator and water pump are all driven by the belts. If the pulley doesn't rotate, the first error that will pop up in your gauge cluster is a charging related light. You may also feel excessive vibrations while the engine is running. After replacing mine, even with it not being as bad as compared to others, the engine vibrations were noticeably less. As a replacement, OEM or aftermarket replacements are available. I opted out for an aftermarket replacement. Based on the reviews, it is apparently a stronger option than compared to the OEM replacement and is especially beneficial if paired with an alternator clutch pulley. The replacement does involve removing the electric fan, intake tube, disconnecting the boost pipe, stretch and serpentine belt removal, and some other small random components. This is a good time to replace the belts if needed, as well as the tensioner and idler pulleys. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this helpful. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. 